I never thought I would be here today, but I am, and I'm glad I am. And it's all because of teamwork. I'm 23 years old. I've worked for indie and major labels. I've served as A&R, director of A&R, VP of A&R, and senior VP of A&R. I've helped sell over 10 million records throughout my career. Seven number one albums, 12 number one singles. But it all started when I was 13 years old. Here I am on a Los Angeles street corner, 7 p.m. at night with my gang brother. We're getting ready to steal our first car. This was my first time. So we both came to a conclusion that I would just be the lookout. I would watch out for the popo and whistle if anybody else was coming. So I would think that my gang brother would hurry up and steal this car. Don't you guys agree? I think he would hurry up and steal this car. But he's taking his sweet ass time. <laughs> it's getting me very, very frustrated. So after like five minutes, he breaks the window, he gets in, then all of a sudden, the popo pull up. <sighs> wow. Couldn't believe it. I tell, I tell him, I'm thinking to myself, what am I supposed to do? I completely, completely forget what I'm supposed to do. So I know I'm supposed to do something, so I scream. I scream like a little girl, for us. <laughs> he hears my scream. He ducks. The popo are now looking at me very weird, like, why is this little kid on the corner screaming like a little girl? But they don't pay no attention to me, and they can continue down the street. Once they're completely out of my eyesight, I run over to the car, I get in, we drive away. We successfully completed the mission. I took away from that whole experience that I was supposed to help him to steal that car. My job was to be the lookout. I did my part, he did his part, even though my part I completely forgot what I was supposed to do, but you know, I knew I was supposed to do something, so I screamed. Um, and we worked together as a team, and the mission was accomplished. You might ask, why did I join a gang? Why weren't my parents around? Why was I a little kid standing in the corner um, at night about to steal this car? It wasn't because I was a bad kid. It was because there was no support system at home. There was nobody to tell me from what, what was right, what was wrong. My mom was always working. My dad, mm, I hardly ever seen him. But then when I did see him, it was, it was briefly. And the gang, my gang, provided a support system for me. They were me. They understood me. They listened. We had a bond. We completed missions together. Two years later, I am now the, uh, the head of a small clique within my gang. They used to, I put in so much work, they used to call me El Capitan. So here I am with my brother, which is my best friend, and my girlfriend. We're sitting in a black SUV parked in an alleyway behind some apartment complex, We're smoking weed and drinking. We're there for a little over an hour. That was a mistake. 
We see two bums walking down the alleyway. As they get closer, we don't pay them no attention. I don't pay them no attention. I was sitting in the driver's seat. My girlfriend was sitting in the passenger seat, and my best friend was sitting in the back. They continue to get closer. We don't pay them no attention. I don't pay them no attention. It was like a scene out of a movie. They lift up their jacket coats, pop out two AK-47s, and empty two clips on the SUV. I was dead. At least I thought I was. My girlfriend and my best friend are now dead. I'm completely distraught. I get out of the car. I'm completely covered in their blood. I run over to our gang house. I see my gang leader there. He, without even knowing what happened, he hugs me. He hugged me like if he was my father. He hugged me like if he cared. So as I'm explaining the situation to him, he continues to tell me that everything is going to be okay. The following day, he sees me, and he tells me, this life isn't for you. You don't deserve this. You deserve better. So he sends me over to Homeboys Industries. I... Um, I really didn't want to go to Homeboys Industries because, to tell you the truth, I just wanted to get the foods that got me. But, you know, I couldn't really argue with him since he was the gang leader. We had to listen to what he said. So I go over, over to Homeboys Industries, and before I can even exp explain my situation to Father Greg, he gives me a job right on the spot. No questions, nothing asked. My gang leader supported me. We were a team. He listened to me. He understood me. He was me. I was a part of that team. Homeboys Industries. Father Greg, he listened to me. He understood me. He gave me a job right on the spot. But now I am a part of the homeboys team. Fast forward a few years later. I now own an entertainment firm. I have my own team. Every member on my team has a role. We complete those roles. We have a common purpose. Our purpose is to make successful records. I am 23 years old. I've worked for indie and major labels. I never thought I would be here today, but I am, and I'm glad I am. Thank you.